This spring could mark a groundbreaking moment for China's aviation industry. Comac, the country's leading aircraft manufacturer, has just announced that it is gearing up for test flights of one of its most anticipated wide-body jets, the C-929. Designed to meet international airworthiness standards and developed entirely under China's independent innovation, this aircraft represents a major leap in this country's aerospace ambitions. So how will China beat the Western aircraft to reshape the global aviation market? What is the Chinese next aircraft? Let's find out. Perhaps not many people truly know what the C-929 is, so let's start with its origins first. As the third country in the world capable of independently developing passenger aircraft, China has seen its C-919 reach commercial maturity. But outside the comfort zone, this country was already preparing for an even more ambitious project, the wide-body aircraft C-929. China's research and development of the C-929 began in 2015. At the time, the country lacked the full expertise required to build a wide-body aircraft, so Comac, the Chinese aircraft manufacturer, partnered with Russia's United Aircraft Corporation. Both nations invested over $2 billion to co-develop a next-generation wide-body jet. In 2016, they formalized the agreement officially launching the CR929 project. Under the initial terms, China would finance the entire development process while Moscow would contribute its technical expertise. Additionally, this country would oversee the final assembly with key target markets including China, Russia, and other regions across Asia. This collaboration aimed to combine Shanghai's manufacturing capabilities with Moscow's expertise in engine technology, composite materials, and aircraft design. The goal was to create a large commercial jet capable of competing with the Boeing 787, Boeing 777, and Airbus A350. However, everything took an unexpected turn in 2021 when Russia became involved in the conflict with Ukraine. As a result, many skilled workers and aerospace specialists in this country were reassigned to military projects leading to delays in various civilian programs, including the CR-929. By then, many of China's research teams had successfully met their development goals while Russia struggled to fulfill its commitments. By 2022, Russia officially withdrew from this cooperation project, leaving China to research and develop alone. Following the shift, China also rebranded the CR929 as the C929. Despite Moscow's exit from the development partnership, it remains a supplier of aircraft components. Skeptics argue that without Russian support, China may struggle to complete such a technologically complex project. Developing a large commercial aircraft presents far greater challenges than manufacturing a military transport plane. But how can Shanghai prove its ability in this industry? But wait a second, you're still here? That's awesome! We're on a mission to hit 50,000 subscribers and you can help us get there. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and be part of this incredible journey. Your support means the world to us. Thank you. The answer came immediately with a swift response from Shanghai. In a stunning turn of events, China has just made a major announcement about the latest developments of its wide-body aircraft, sending shockwaves through the West. On February 20th, 25, the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China revealed that the country's first long-haul, wide-body passenger jet, the C-929, is preparing to enter its test flight phase. Unlike previous assumptions that this would be just a scaled-up version of the C-919 with no groundbreaking advancements, the reality appears far more intriguing. Experts quickly analyzed its specifications and uncovered unique advantages that set it apart. As more details emerged, the aviation industry began to grasp the aircraft's true potential. Compared to the C-919, the C-929 boasts a significantly larger capacity of 280 seats and an impressive range of 12,000 kilometers, far surpassing the C-919's 168-seat limit and modest 4,000 kilometers range. Simply put, the most striking difference between the two jets lies in their size and mission. While the C-919 is a mid-sized, single-aisle aircraft designed primarily for domestic routes, the C-929 is a high-capacity, long-haul, twin-aisle jet built for international travel. Moreover, its mission is to compete with global giants on major routes such as Shanghai to London or Beijing to New York. But here's the real game-changer. What truly makes the C-929 a fully homegrown Chinese aircraft? 
One of its most groundbreaking aspects is that it is developed and manufactured entirely in China. Western nations previously pressured this Asian country by restricting critical components for the C919. After all, this aircraft had only a 60% localization rate. For instance, its initial model relied on Wartier, an engine from a US-French joint venture, leaving China vulnerable to Western supply restrictions. This time, however, the C929 is set to break free from foreign dependence. It will be powered by the domestically developed CJ2000 engine, marking a major leap in China's aviation ambitions. Originally designed for the C919, the CJ2000 was not used in its first flight due to concerns over safety and stability. Instead, it has now been assigned to the new wide-body aircraft with test flights planned for 2029. This move signals their determination to control its own aerospace future, one that no longer relies on the West. So, what makes this engine so special? The CJ2000 engine isn't just powerful, it's a technological leap forward. Delivering an impressive 35 tons of thrust, it boasts key advantages such as exceptional fuel efficiency and remarkably low noise levels. By February 20th, 24, China had already completed testing on the engine's geared fan drive, a crucial milestone in its development. With a massive 3-meter fan diameter and an overall height of 4.55 meters, this engine surpasses the 33-ton thrust output of Boeing 787's Gen X engine. More importantly, it achieves this while consuming less fuel than its international competitors, significantly reducing operational costs. In simple terms, the C929 can cruise at a speed of 980 kilometers per hour while remaining incredibly quiet, thanks to its fuel-efficient design. These features give the aircraft a clear competitive edge in the global market, positioning it as a serious challenger to Western aviation giants. With its cutting-edge technology, Many Western media outlets believe that the C929 is directly targeting the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350, posing an unprecedented challenge to Western aerospace giants. But does this wide-body aircraft truly have what it takes to compete? In reality, it's not just aiming to rival the West, it actually outperforms Boeing in several key areas. Firstly, the Chinese wide-body aircraft is equipped with 10 core systems, including avionics, communication and navigation, primary and secondary hydraulic systems, and an advanced wing lift system. These innovations not only ensure superior flight performance, but also enhance safety, passenger comfort, environmental sustainability, and operational cost efficiency. If everything functions as designed, this aircraft could be a formidable competitor, one that might even force Boeing and Airbus to rethink their dominance in the skies. Secondly, one of the standout features of the C929 is its extensive use of titanium alloy materials. While most narrowbody aircraft contain only 10% titanium alloys, this aircraft boosts this to 15%, matching the Boeing 787. Additionally, over 50% of the aircraft's structure is made from carbon fiber composite materials, significantly enhancing durability and fuel efficiency. This figure not only surpasses the 12% composite ratio in the C919, but also cements the C929 status as an environmentally friendly aircraft. With this advanced design, it doesn't just aim for superior performance, it aligns with the global push for greener aviation. Thirdly, from a technical standpoint, the aircraft builds upon the international certification advantages of the C919 while achieving exceptional cost efficiency. Its production process is highly precise, involving over 2.2 million individual components and 3,500 successful test models. To further enhance safety and performance, the wide-body aircraft is equipped with a full real-time monitoring system, continuously tracking the aircraft dynamics. Moreover, inside the cockpit, cutting-edge avionics systems allow pilots to adjust lighting freely, creating an optimized flying environment. Meanwhile, passenger seating has been designed with multiple adjustment options for maximum comfort. Notably, the avionics system is developed by nine different companies, including four from China, while Shanghai's aviation sector plays a critical role in engineering development. With such technological advancements, could the C929 be the next game changer in the global aviation industry? Let us know your thoughts. Now, let's talk about the wings, one of the defining aspects of the C929. 
The wingspan of the C919 was already impressive, but the C929 takes it even further, stretching nearly 65 meters, wider than the Boeing 787. A larger wingspan requires greater flight stability, which means extensive aerodynamic calculations, structural adjustments, material durability tests, and wind tunnel experiments. These measures ensure that the aircraft remains stable under a variety of flying conditions. Many travelers know that despite being called the Dreamliner, the Boeing, 787's economy class seating can feel cramped on long haul flights. Passengers frequently complain about tight legroom and discomfort. The C929, however, takes a different approach, featuring a 5.5 meter dash wide cabin, more spacious than the 5.4 meters width of the Boeing 787 and not much inferior to the 5.6 meters of the Airbus A350. This extra space means passengers can enjoy a more comfortable and relaxed flying experience, setting a new standard for long haul travel. Beyond passenger comfort, the Comac wide body aircraft also benefits from a high composite material ratio, reducing fuel consumption and significantly lowering operational costs for airlines. This efficiency could lead to more affordable ticket prices, making air travel accessible to more passengers. Additionally, Chinese manufactured products have historically been highly competitive in the global market, positioning the C929 as a formidable challenger to both Boeing and Airbus. Not only that, China's aviation industry is rapidly gaining momentum. The country's regional jet, formerly known as the ARJ-21, has now been rebranded as the C909. If the C929 successfully enters commercial service, it could mark a groundbreaking transformation for this country's civil aviation industry, reshaping the global aircraft market. According to you, could this aircraft be the next big disruptor in aviation? What's even more exciting is what lies ahead. China isn't stopping at the C929. It aims at even bigger and more advanced aircraft such as the C939 and C949. The country may even directly challenge long-haul giants like the Boeing 777X and Airbus A380. According to reports, Comac has already completed the preliminary design of the C939, but turning it from concept to reality will take time. Based on Comac's ambitious roadmap by 2049, this nation could launch the C949, a supersonic passenger jet featuring a two-deck design with two or even three aisles. If this vision comes true, they won't just achieve complete self-sufficiency in civil aviation, but could also emerge as a global leader in the industry. Do you think China can turn this bold ambition into reality? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and may you always have safe and enjoyable flights.